The Fever Syndrome is a play about a high-functioning, dysfunctional family who descend on their brownstone in New York. It's a family drama set in Manhattan. OK, it's set in New York, but it could be set anywhere. It will affect everyone in yeah. some way. The family come back one weekend to celebrate the father receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award in the field of science. The house that they're in is like the, the body and it's kind of how the, the hosts can fight enemy invaders. It's the most amazing analogy around science. How the immune system works is how this house operates. You know, as a fertilised embryo, the fight for survival begins. And I think the play is about, as adults, how we continue to fight for survival. Greg uh, Ripley Duggan, producer here at the Hampstead, sent me the, the, the script. It didn't tell me anything about Alexis at all, and I just assumed it was some major American writer on the lines of Arthur Miller or someone. Alexis' writing is extremely sharp and fast and funny and furious, and there is a kind of pace which is very un-English, which we've had a lot of fun playing with. So much at stake, and I really felt like there was kind of an undercurrent of that running through this and was also surprised to know that Alexis is not in fact American, but she really captured the kind of essence of what makes great big American drama. I said to Roxana when I met to read for this part that I felt like it didn't read like a new play, it read like a classic, extraordinarily accomplished. Yeah. You don't read many plays like this. It's so relatable and the way she makes the characters speak is so natural and yet really clever. And the fact that she's dealing with such big subjects, I really like admire her for her research. I love the tradition of sort of big, epic family American dramas, and I thought that was the best canvas to explore this particular story. It's an extraordinary cast, so it is an ensemble piece, but it's an ensemble piece with nine leading actors in it, and that's been incredible. There are moments of real, real humour and comedy. That's what's so brilliant about the play. It's a big play, and to have that fast-paced sort of tense dynamic going on constantly. It's it's lovely to have that release. The line between tragedy and comedy is sometimes very, very small, like in life, and I think she's captured that brilliantly. We have laughed a lot. <laughs> and also, there is like sort of this ferocious explosion of creative yeah, energy yeah, that yeah, you yeah. wake up in the morning and you kind of run to the, the rehearsal room. We hope that the audience get from it what we're getting from it. Ultimately, there has to be hope at the end, I'm gunning for that. That would be great if, if we achieve that, people left with a, a sense of hope.